Hey guys, how's it going? This is X Products. What I'm going to be doing today, I have a um, an external um, enclosure for an M.2 2280. Has it like a, a couple different sizes that it supports. This is a Western Digital Blue. Um, it's an SN 570. It's an NVMe SSD. It can go up to 3.5 or 3,500 megabytes a second. This is right uh, read, so writes so are probably a little bit lower, but um, it'd be nice if they actually. Um, Put that there, but um, I'm going to be putting the um, the 2280 NVMe SSD in this enclosure, and um, I was going to have it for my main computer, but I kind of thought about uh, I have a rendering and um, you know record screen recording to like I have a 240 gig and it gets filled up pretty fast, so this will be a lot easier in just transferring to my phone to upload because my uh, upload speed is really bad so I have to do it from my phone which is a lot faster. So it just kind of like works out and I've wanted to um, do this for a while and um, anyways I'm more portable uploading, um, rendering, everything, recording thing. So a terabyte is a good amount and it's really fast. This um, Asus ROG, this is actually kind of a nice material, I like that. Um, so this right here is only um, it's USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type C, a lot of words, um, but it can only go up to. It's only 10 uh, gigabits, so it can only go up to, um, I think, a thousand or 1,200 megabytes a second, which this can do. You know, not quite three times more, but yeah. So I'm not going to be using the full um, potential of the drive, but it's got some weight to it. It's a nice box too. I was kind of bent. Um, I don't have a knife on me. Balls. I'd have to get up. Ah, one second. I'll do this in one take. Ah, one take. There you go. Alright, so, just use my scissors here. Just kind of... It's not like I'm doing this professionally and I have a... Uh, keeping this box or something. I might just throw it away, so... It's a nice box, though. Boxes do collect up, you know, space that can fill up a closet really quickly. Depends on how your purchase history is up. I just broke that. Nice. Okay. Okay. Take this little thing out. Ooh, nice. Okay. So here's the device itself. That's that's pretty heavy. I don't have a little scale here, but that's that's it's got some good weight. Like this is heavier than the the screwdriver. Maybe both together. Uh, I don't know, but it, um, that was a poor example, but this, it's got some weight to it, that's nice. Um, okay. Nice. That is really cool. So this is going to be RGB. Um, I think you can control it when you plug it into your PC and then it saves it maybe, I'm not 100% sure on that. So USB-C right there on the side and has a little indicator right there. I'm, I'm guessing that's for like when it's being active. It shows like a um, you know the light and stuff. Um, so when it's being active and stuff. So got some information on the side, just basic stuff like where it, what it is, the model, uh, you know, the voltage and stuff like that. Uh, not too much else. It's, it's pretty cool. Um, so I don't know how to open it. Just looking at it like this. Um, I don't want to just force it open. Looks like I can open it from the back, maybe. I don't know. Um, let's see what else is in here. Maybe some instructions. That would be good. Okay, so it says that here's like a little Asus um, removable, uh, removal tool. Oh, that thing I, that right there that I thought was an indicator light? That's to pop it open, I'm, I'm thinking. So it says... Uh, this screwdriver, this pin, so you stick that in there. Okay, I gotcha. I thought it was a little indicator light. Okay, I gotcha. And this right here is a little uh, R, okay. Um, you can hook that up to like a, a keychain or something like that, or like a, what's the key, like the, um... oh, nice. Nice, that's cool. Um, you can protect it with a little rubber um, so it can absorb some of the, if you drop it or something like that, which I would probably use just because. And then at the bottom, the very bottom, you have a USB 
uh, C to regular 3.0. Uh, which is not going to be very fast. That's going to be your worst option, but it, in case like you lost this or if you don't have another like three or four or five laying around, uh, that might be a good option as well. But this is USB-C to USB-C. This will be the optimal best um, case scenario with this device, which I will be using. Um, and then uh, a quick start, um, you know, quick start guide and show you how to do it and what it supports and uh, its tool list and all that stuff. Um, yeah, so it's saying right here that little pin you like, you adjust it or something on the side. I'm not hundred percent sure. I think I can figure it out though. We'll see. All right, so uh, I'll put this rubber uh, thing on later, and let's just put it in the hole. Man. Uh... Ooh, ooh, okay. Ah, she came apart for a second. And then I closed her. I think the weight of it. Nice. Wow, that's really cool. Ah. Okay. So you got the. There's a PCB of it and everything. At the M.2, it supports. Just slides in right here, and you have the little uh, screw to tighten it down and stuff. Okay. And then you have thermal thermal pads, a couple of them, and then you have a little sticker. And you can scan stuff. Don't touch it with your finger. That'd be good. So here's the inside of the M.2 enclosure. You got the correct fingers. Just have it on like a 45 degree angle or so. And slot her in just like that. And then you get your screw that you use. You get your little, um, see the little line like in between right here, sandwiched in between the big part and the little part? You want the M.2 to be in this little slot where I have my finger. Uh, fingernail grazing right here, so you kind of just go just like so and then um, You got your tool. I'll just put it down gently Making sure you don't cross thread it which is that was very easy to just screw it down correctly But you never know if the angle that you're at and how aggressive you are, but that was perfectly fine and A little bit more. Okay, that was snug right there. And then you got little uh, slots right here. The top and the middle and the bottom right here. And you got your, you got little spots for it right there. And then you kind of just, just like that. So that was pretty simple, and uh, yeah, it's not going anywhere. Okay, I'm gonna hook this up to my PC and see uh, the transfer speeds. And uh, oh, I also have the little rubber piece that I can put in here. Let's see. Maybe go through the bottom of it. I probably could have forced that. I don't want to damage it, you know. That's still kind of difficult. There we go. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. Ooh, okay. I like the build quality of this cable too. It's pretty nice. It's not very long, but um, if you have like a um, a USB C um, extender like hooked up to your motherboard and then just like right on your desk and uh, the female part, and you can just plug this into the male part. I mean the the male part to the female, and then this to the uh, the M.2 enclosure. Just like so. Nice. 
So if you guys run into an issue where you plugged in your device, your USB-C to USB-C, and I have an extender hooked up to the motherboard, and it's not in one of your, uh, it's not in this PC, you know, you're not seeing your drive, you type in, um, you know, press start, you type in disk manage, I'm gonna just do it for you, disk, type in disk, and it's create and format hard drive partition. So when you uh, click, when you open that, when you open that, you see all your drives. The one that's black, this is the, ah. Uh, the one that's black, you see the one terabyte, where well, it's 931.51 gigs, but that's um, that's the one terabyte drive. So right click, do new simple volume. And then right here, you go through a process. It's just next, pretty much next, next. Give it a drive letter. I'll give it Y, um, yeah, Y. I'll give it a Y and then next and next and finish. And there it is. So you just close that. There's the drive right there. So open that and then uh, you're good to go. And okay. So this video right here is one of my newest um, uploads that I did. It's 11.5 gigs. So this is on my um, my SSD for rendering that I currently use right now. Um, so it's 240 gigs. I'm gonna be transferring this 11.5 gig uh, video to my brand new M.2. Go. So it was a little delay, but you guys get it. Kind of stuck right now at 12.8, 600, drops down. Just feel how warm it is. It's not even warm at all. It's pretty cold actually. But I have it at um, just default, which is just um, going through the colors and stuff gradually. So it looks pretty nice. Feels really nice. Good quality. Um, nice design. But the speed of my drive, it's not consistent. Like when you're thinking like it can go to 33 or 3400 megabytes a second, you want it to stay there consistently and just do whatever, transfer your files at that speed consistently. But if a, a device and the cable is only rated at a certain amount. It just, um, oh, did it, is it done? Yep, it's done. So um, it was done probably around three seconds ago. So a little over a minute, just a cup, like a couple seconds over a minute. Um, it can do 11, so pretty much a minute, uh, 10, 10 gigs it can transfer in a minute. At least my testing um, with my my Z390 motherboard and my Western Digital um, 2280 drive in there and the USB-C cable hooked up. So, <sighs> kind of disappointed. I, I wish it was way faster. Like, at the, my rating of the drive, that'd be nice. But um, that is still very nice. You know, 10 gigs a, a minute it can transfer. Um, or more depends probably on the file, but um, I'm gonna be recording games to this and then transferring this to my phone and editing off of it. So I think um, this to my phone is faster than this to my uh, 240 gig uh, 2.5 inch SATA drive. I have. Uh, uh, let me see. Chilling. Oh, you can't see it. There it is. Used to be my operating system, my C drive, but now I, I switched to an M.2 um, underneath that uh, easy DIY M.2 heatsink and stuff. But um, so yeah, guys, this is a little video about just uh, how to install it and uh, just showing you what you kind of would expect in the real world, you know, unless you get if you get a faster drive, you're still going to deal with the same problem. Like it's not going to be any faster, you know, so I don't know. I think it's still a nice product. I just wish it was way faster, but maybe in the future with uh, better cables and maybe if I get a different cable to like uh, next generation on a motherboard or something like that and it could, it could transfer faster. I, I don't know. I'm just, 
I don't know. It'd be nice if it was like at least three gigabytes a second transfer speed consistently and then just transfer stuff so fast and just get it done. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, there's always something. But yeah, peace out, guys. Take care.